Good afternoon. We would like to welcome you to the 2020 SCAA Awards Recognition. This year has been interesting to say the least, and we are so glad that we're able to recognize our educators and state leaders for all the hard work they have put in. For our invocation, I would like to call upon our past president, Mr. Robert Boyer. Let us pray, please. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity for all of us to get together virtually, even though we can't do it in person. Thank you for the many blessings that you've given us. Please look out for us as we start back to our next school year. Make sure that everyone is safe, including our students. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now I'd like to call upon our state FFA president, Gracie Helms, for remarks from the SC FFA Association. Hello everyone. My name is Gracie Helms and I am from the Central FFA chapter and I am honored to be serving as your 2020 to 2021 South Carolina State FFA president this year. I am assisted in my duties by Ashlyn Patterson from the Seneca FFA chapter serving as vice president. Addison Lyles from the West Oak FFA chapter serving as vice president. Gunnar Black from the York FFA chapter serving as vice president. Lee Pageant from the Pillion FFA chapter serving as vice president. And Allison Foxworth from the Crestwood FFA chapter serving as secretary. We six are currently receiving the best training from the National FFA Association. We have received in-depth training on topics such as self-discovery, this is an extremely important tool that will better your students' learning experience because we now know our personal strengths and weaknesses. Inclusion and diversity. This is an increasingly important topic in today's society and is a highly important tool in understanding and helping each individual. We see every person's differences and we will strive to create a proper learning environment for every individual person in the FFA and agricultural community. Priorities and balance. This is a key element in our officership. To us as officers, the development and mentorship of your chapter is on the top of our list. But we will have the knowledge to balance our duties as students and members as well so we can better serve you. We have learned these important elements in our summer base camp, which is normally hosted at the FFA Leadership Center in Cherry Grove, South Carolina, but it was a unique virtual event this year. We also have two other virtual training events coming up in the next weeks. We will be participate, participating in the State Officer Leadership Summit as well. These events will be for the development and continuing of our leadership education so that we can pass knowledge and leadership tactics to your chapter officers and members at events like CAL, chapter visits, and CDE and LDE events. As you have heard me mention, we have many virtual events being held this year, including our 93rd National FFA Convention and Expo. This year is truly a year like no other. In the wake of COVID-19, our main goal is the public health and safety of our advisors, officers, and members. But we will strive to meet and mentor each and every chapter, even if that means over Zoom or behind a mask. We will continue to do our chapter visits if the governor and schools permit and may have a special treat for our Discovery Chapters this year. I speak for the whole South Carolina FFA team when I say we are beyond excited to start working with every life that the FFA touches. I hope everyone has a safe and wonderful upcoming school year. And remember, blue and gold forever. Thank you, Gracie. And now to continue with our SCAA Awards Ceremony. Good afternoon. Each year we have new teachers that join our family. As a result of the leadership and model of their former ag teacher, it is an honor to have students follow in our footsteps and succeed in the field of agriculture education. This year we'd like to recognize our fellow educator that has a former student that has completed their first year in the classroom. Congratulations to George Marrow. Justin Reynolds is a student from Buford High School. The 30 Minute Award is presented each year to teachers who have promoted our culture education through the media beyond South Carolina's borders. Each year, teachers have reached this goal. Thank you for exposing South Carolina our culture education to other states. The following teachers have obtained this honor. Josh McCall, Walhalla High School. Jessica Howell, Central High School. 
Joseph Gleason, Lakeview High School, and Jeffrey Wisenhunt, Union County Career and Technology Center. Congratulations. Each year, we like to recognize the teachers that reach milestones in their teaching career. The following teachers have reached this goal. Five years of service, Katie Bell, Low Country Leadership Charter School, Holly Havred, Newberry County Career Center, Dion Latimer, Belton Honeyapath High School, Jesse McGee, Sherrall High School, Ethan Busby, Wagner Sally High School, Lindsay Herfel, the Institute of Innovation, Carolyn Lorenzen, Anderson Institute of Technology, Casey Ann Attaway, Ashley Ridge High School. 15 years of service, Josh Murdoch, Dixie High School, Garrett Howard, Landrum High School, Kristen Jacobs, Conway High School. 20 years of service, Josh McCall, Wahala High School. 25 years of service, John Farmer, Greer High School. Jeff Murdoch, Woodmont High School. 30 years of service, Marlette Watson, Carolina Forest High School. 35 years of service, Daryl Ricketts, Saucesty High School. Gene Smith, Midland Valley High School. And Barry Strickland, Carolina Forest High School. Teaching for over 30 years is a huge milestone. For those that have made it to this mark, we would like to recognize you as well. Steve McCannon, Pickens County Career Center, 31 years. Michael Haynes, Manning Junior High School, 34 years. Tim Paysauer, Fort Mill High School, 34 years. Glenn Stevens, Belton Middle School, 34 years. Gail Posipenko, Buford High School, 37 years. James Roberts, Ainer High School, 39 years. And Frank Stover, Pelion High School, 39 years. Staying in the classroom for 40 years is, no, is an extraordinary task. So we would like to recognize this teacher for maintaining the excellent classroom curriculum for 41 years, Kellen Hall at Marlboro County High School. Thank you to all the teachers that are in this profession. Let us continue to work together to benefit the students throughout South Carolina. Congratulations. The Ideas Unlimited contest is designed to give NAAE members an opportunity to exchange classroom, SAE, leadership, and other teaching ideas. His idea to give students a creative ownership of a game to showcase their knowledge of pet ownership is not only inventive, but easily implemented into any classroom. Congratulations to Scott Tager of the Lexington Technology Center on being named the 2020 South Carolina Award winner for Ideas Unlimited. We are all aware of the shortage of agricultural educators in our state and across our country. As a means of encouraging young teachers to remain in the teaching profession and to encourage and recognize participation in professional organizations, NAAE offers the Teacher Turn the Key Scholarship. This year, the award is being presented to Caroline Snellings of Crescent High School. Caroline has only been teaching for three years, but has earned the respect of her students co-workers and administration. We are happy to have Caroline represent South Carolina at the national level. Congratulations to Caroline Snellings on being named the 2020 SCAAE Teacher Turn the Key Award winner. The Outstanding Early Career Teacher Award is presented to an educator that is currently in the early stages of teaching at the time they apply. This year's award is presented to an educator who is able to teach students not only in the classroom, but also on the school farm. She just finished her seventh year at Clover High School, and she varies her instruction in environmental and natural resources plant and animal systems pathway to ensure students' growth and learning is happening daily. Congratulations to the outstanding early career teacher for 2020, Ms. Kelsey McLean.
the Outstanding Agricultural Education Teacher is an award that distinguishes SCWAE members who are at the pinnacle of their profession, those who are conducting the highest quality agricultural education programs. The award recognizes leadership in civic, community, agriculture, ag agribusiness, and professional activities. Outstanding agricultural educators are innovators and catalysts for student success in agricultural education. This year's South Carolina Outstanding Teacher goes to an educator that has gone above and beyond for her students, colleagues, community, and state. Please help me in congratulating Lee Pettigrew on being named the 2020 Outstanding Teacher of the Year. One of the goals of SCAAE and NAAE is to promote outstanding programs in agricultural education and effectively communicate success stories. The Outstanding Secondary School Ag Ed Program Award promotes that goal. This year, the Outstanding Program Award is presented to a program that instructs students in the horticulture pathway. The goals within this program are to provide partnerships within the community, promote leadership development, as well as experiential learning. Congratulations are in order for Lee Mayfield and Green Sea Floyds High School on being named the 2020 Outstanding Program of the Year. The Outstanding Post-Secondary Program Award recognizes an exemplary post-secondary or community outreach program. This year's Outstanding Program goes to the Spring Hill Young Farmers Chapter. The chapter maintains around 100 members and meets monthly. They believe that agriculture is one of the most important sectors of our modern world and that their mission is to support the students of Lexington Richland 5. They also help to provide scholarships for seniors in the program that are pursuing a degree in an agricultural related field. Congratulations to Kevin Sox, Sim Aspel, and Jessica Hildago, as well as the Spring Hill Young Farmers chapter for being named the 2020 Outstanding Post-Secondary Program of the Year. Congratulations. The Outstanding Mentor Award recognizes those members among us who have gone above and beyond to assist their peers and colleagues in the field of agricultural education. Through the years, Mindy Sandiford has served as a cooperating teacher, assisted new and beginning teachers with, le with copies of le lesson plans and ideas to help them think out of the box, as well as for over a decade, served on the SCAAE board. Mindy has helped most, if not all of us, and for that, Mindy, we say thank you. Your 2020 Ment Outstanding Mentor of the Year is Mindy Sandifer. Congratulations, Mindy. We also like to recognize organizations, agribusiness companies, and others who have given outstanding support to agricultural education. This year's recipients has helped the South Carolina chapter by sponsoring a scholarship for FFA members that take part in the Miss FFA pageant. The Batesburg-Leesville FFA has been gracious to hold the Miss FFA pageant for the past 10 years and have been blessed to have an organization to sponsor the event each year. Thank you, Libby Templeton, for recognizing Ag South Farm Credit, ACA, for their continued support of a great cause. We also would like to recognize current or retired agriculture educators who have made significant contributions to agriculture education. This year's recipient has promoted agriculture education and assisted teachers in any way he can for more years than he would claim. Jay Copeland's Teaching career influenced thousands of students and many student teachers across Georgia and South Carolina. As a second career, he works in sales for Steck Equipment and stays connected to agriculture education by visiting student and adult programs for equipment demonstration and training. He also sponsors many FFA events, programs, and teacher conferences and workshops. Thank you, Jay Copeland, for your continued support of agriculture education. Good evening, fellow agriculture teachers, and it's a great honor to be with you, even though it is virtually. I, like many of you, would prefer to be meeting face-to-face, -face, um, especially to present this award to this individual. It would be such a great honor. Uh, I want to thank Nate Bellamy and Claire Ammon for uh, 
asking me to present this award uh, to this individual. Uh, I consider this a, a highlight of my year and I consider it a, a highlight to do this. And it, it's very important that the agriculture teachers continue uh, to honor people who, who lead the way for them. Of course, the John W. Parrish Leadership Award was established not only to honor the recipient, but to honor the person it was named after. Mr. Parrish, uh, all of us know him as a great leader of agriculture, an innovative leader for over 60 years, uh, being an agriculture teacher uh, in Chester and in Anderson, South Carolina, and then uh, heading up the Land Resource Commission until his retirement. And while he was a visionary leader in the land resource uh, area and, and bringing conservation practices to South Carolina farms, um, he also made his impact in Columbia, South Carolina, and where he was a tremendous help to us in agriculture education through some very difficult times. After retirement, uh, he was asked to help the agriculture education community established and rebuild the programs here in South Carolina, and he did so with distinction, uh, serving as executive director for the South Carolina FFA Association uh, for many years and impacting the lives of many young people and, and helping to form uh, one of the top uh, state officer teams is, is he really worked hard in that area. So it's an honor uh, not only to present this award to this recipient, uh, but to also recognize the many contributions that Mr. Parrish has given to agriculture and to agriculture education. This year's recipient is no stranger to any of us and somebody that uh, I was kind of shocked that he had not already received this award, and, uh, but really proud that, that you guys in the leadership of the South Carolina Agriculture Education Association understand uh, a true leader, and this person is a true leader. He's a true leader in the classroom for over 36 years in two different high schools, and I won't mention them until a later time uh, because I think it's important that we understand the, the aptitude of the depth and the, width and the breadth of this person's impact on our culture education, not only when he's in the classroom, but in, he continues to be an agriculture leader. Some of the accomplishments was he was president of the SCAAE, uh, during the transition of agriculture programs at, at Clemson and was a very force to deal with and made sure that Clemson agriculture education programs uh, stayed viable uh, during some really tough times. He was vice president of the SC Vocational Education Association. He is a nationally board certified teacher. He received the Merit Award for Soil and Water Conservation in 2009. He was teacher of the year for the South Carolina Association of Conservation Districts in 2007. He was Teacher of the Year at Clemson Collegiate FFA for 2005. Teacher of the Year at the institution he was teaching at, and he was Honorary American Farmer Degree recipient in 2005. And he was an outstanding new recognition diversified agriculture for an institution that he started an agriculture program at. Uh, his career, goes over four different institutions that I will talk to a little later. Not only was his career in front of the classroom very successful in molding the lives of young people, but his FFA students were very successful. His ag students were very successful. He had 10 state star farmer and star state agribusiness winners. He had over 20 state team winning forestry, ornamental horticulture, agronomy, wildlife, soils, and floriculture two national gold teams in forestry and ornamental horticulture, six national gold individual award scholarships, winners in forestry, ornamental horticulture, and agronomy, three national FFA scholarship winners, South Carolina Avarathon winners, South Carolina Governor Citation winner, numerous state FFA officers, two Outstanding Career Technology Students of the Year winners. Then, when he retired from teaching agriculture education at two schools, he started a agriculture program at a technical school. Then, from retiring from that job, he jumped on and started the 
School of Agriculture, the Governor School of Agriculture at John Della Howe. And he's on the board of directors and is chairman of that board right now. If you have not figured out, this person's career spanned from Midland Valley High School from 1991 to 1999. Strong Thurman, where he started out with a career in 1974 to, to 88 and then returned to Strong Thurman in 1999 to 2010. He started the agriculture program at Piedmont Technical College and now he is on the board of directors at John Della Howe and he's a chairman of that board. It is with great honor that this man that we all know is Mr. Hugh Bland is the recipient this year of this very prestigious award. But what I think that Mr. Bland is more than just an agriculture educator, Mr. Bland is a friend and a person who has helped mentor hundreds of young people at the two schools that he really was a high school agriculture teacher. A lot of his students went on to Clemson University to obtain degrees in, in agriculture education and other agriculture fields. But most of the t people that Mr. Bland taught recognize him as a person who cared more about them than they cared about the subjects that he was teaching. He wanted his students to be successful. He wanted his program to be successful. And he is a true leader of agriculture because he didn't retire from agriculture, never has. He always found something else to do, just like the person that this award is named after, Mr. John W. Paris. So please, when you see Hugh Bland, thank him for the leadership that he has provided to agriculture education throughout his distinguished career and he continues to do so. It is a great honor uh, for me when I was in the agriculture education department, Mr. Bland was an inspiration. I always enjoyed going to Strong Thurman High School and talking with him and he uh, helped mentor a lot of our student teachers, but just to get his view on things because he's a deep thinker and a great friend. So without any more information that I can provide for you, and I could go on and on about the accolades of Hugh Bland, Mr. Bland, thank you and congratulations on being the 2020 John W. Parrish Leadership Award recipient. I hope that this award that I can present it to you one day in person, and it will be a great honor to call you a friend and a mentor. Thank you for all you do for agriculture education in the state of South Carolina. It is always a pleasure to welcome new teachers to our profession. The following individuals are new to our profession, new to South Carolina, or in some cases, they are rejoining us in the agriculture classroom. We would now like to recognize the following teachers. Audrey Cutlip, Woodland Technology Center. Brooke Hall, Loris High School. Grant Hall, Carver's Bay High School. Katie Martin, Woodmont Middle School. Joey McCannon, Palmetto High School. Hunter Morton, John De La Howe School for Agriculture. Christine Murphy, Pickens High School. Dean Powers, Lakewood High School. Cassidy Ruth, Batesburg Leesville High School. Daniel Scott, Denmark Olar High School. Lisa Stansel, Dorman Freshman Campus. Imani White, Rachel and Hardyville High School. And Chris White, Bamberg Earhart High School. We wish you the best of luck as you embark on this journey and encourage you to look to your fellow teachers and SCAAE members for guidance and assistance in the coming years. Welcome to our profession. Good afternoon. It is my distinct pleasure to be able to introduce to you tonight um, this year, 2020's recipient of the Clark Woods Distinguished Teacher Award. Having known Clark for all the years that I did, it is a great honor for me to be able to do that. And this year's recipient is very deserving. Um, I've known him uh, throughout my career 
and he has never failed to be an encourager um, and give great advice and to um, really reach out and to be a friend as well as um, an honored colleague. Um, he has been teaching for 41 years. Um, he has his honorary state degree. He will be receiving his honorary American degree this year at the National Convention. Um, he um, is an avid outdoorsman, family man. Um, I know that at least one of his sons is following in his footsteps. Um, he is the advisor of the Marlboro County um, Farmer and Agribusiness chapter. Um, he has taught uh, or is currently teaching at Marlboro County High School. Uh, and he's had many state CDE winners and other award recognitions. Um, he and his lovely wife, lovely wife Melanie, um, are very devoted um, to their family and to their community and to Marlboro County. This year's Clark Woods Distinguished Teacher Award winner is Kellen Hall. Congratulations, Kellen. It's quite the honor and it's very well deserving. Thank you. Through the STAR grant, SCAAE has been able to tag potential ag educators for years. We added a few things in the past two years, including the Student Teacher Scholarship. Earlier this year, Audrey Cutlip was awarded the scholarship to offset costs of student teaching. We also awarded two mini grants to student teachers to pay for supplies for lessons and hands-on activities. Those mini grants went to Audrey Cutlip and Brooke Feeder. We are pleased to announce the second award um, of the SCAAE Teacher Scholarship. This is for any SCAAE member who has completed their first year of teaching. It is $1,000 to help offset the cost of attending NAAE conference in December. If this conference is not held this year in person, then this awardee will be able to use that $1,000 for next year's conference in New Orleans. Congratulations to Katie Bell on winning this year's scholarship. One last thing that we are adding in to our efforts for teacher retention and recruitment is a mentoring program, an official mentoring program. Many of you out there have mentored new teachers out of the kindness of your own heart with your own time and own money. With this formal program, the region vice presidents will be tasked with meeting, at least virtually, with all of the new teachers in their region about once a month. They will receive a small stipend to help offset the cost of going to visit these teachers once during the school year. I hope that this will encourage teachers to remain in this wonderful profession that we have. We are very appreciative of the STAR grant. Again, this has been an amazing year. Keep up the great work. I believe that we have been charged with one of the most important tasks possible, leading our young people. On behalf of the SCAAE officers, I would like to thank each and every one of you for attending tonight. We're also thankful that we were able to serve our state this year. I think I speak for everyone when I say we love what we do. It has been a blessing to serve as your president this year. At this time, we would like to install the new SCAA officers for the upcoming year. Serving as president, Ben Gibson. Serving as president-elect, Ashley Granada. Serving as secretary, Beth Ann Melton. Serving as treasurer, Claire Hammonds. Serving as your vice presidents for the regions, Region 1, Elizabeth Morton. Region 2, Henderson Rowe. Region 3, Tyler Uden. Region 4, Ethan Busby. 
and serving as your associate vice presidents from each region. Region one, Josh McCall. Region two, Lee Pettigrew. Region three, Cody Floyd. And region four, Katie Bell. Thank you for serving and representing our state. I would like to take this time to thank each one of you for your mentorship and friendships that you've provided over the past 15 years. Most of you know by now, I will start a new chapter in my life as becoming the next assistant principal at Loris High School. I'm very thankful and blessed for the opportunity to serve you as your president. Please feel free to call upon me anytime you need. Remember, I might not be working alongside of you, but now you will have a friend in the administrative world. Thank you. Nate, on behalf of the SCAAE, we appreciate your service as state president. Thank you for your many years of working to advance the profession and serve as an advocate for all those involved in agricultural education in South Carolina. We look to you for continued guidance in the coming year as past president, and we hope you know that you will always have a home in agricultural education. This concludes our awards recognition for this most interesting year. As we prepare for a new school year, let us remember why we're in this profession. Also, remember that the Ag Ed family is just that, a family. While we all have questions about what this school year will look like, the one thing we can hold on to is knowing that students and teachers in agriculture will be supporting one another, as we always have. Whether on a Facebook forum or a group email or even a video chat, Please don't be afraid to help your fellow teachers or call on them in your time of questions or need. We can do this together and be stronger on the other side. Stay well, and I hope to see you all very soon. I now call this awards recognition adjourned. <laughs>